If you are looking to invest in cryptocurrency and make a profit in the short and long term, check out Skycoin, a promising blockchain that is now on the rise. Check out more info in the link below. Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today we are actually gonna be taking a look at iOS 11.2.5 Beta 3. We've had to wait about two weeks for this one, which is kind of abnormal, but as you know, we did have the holidays, so that is likely why there was such a delay. Um, the build number for this version is 15D5049A. Now, just going throughout the um, OS here, it is really fast. I'm really enjoying the speed that I'm getting from um, this beta and really it's a huge improvement from beta 2 where beta 2 was kind of laggy and um, things would take a really long time to open just opening the camera app there is really quick really smooth and I'm really enjoying it um, all of the items in the app store kind of populate here if I just kind of remove that app here and then go back in you can really see the speed of which um, this app loads everything is loaded fairly quickly and I think it works quite well for me at least. Um, now going on to some of the other features in, in iOS, um, the control center, this actually feels a little bit different of a vibration when force touching the menus here. Um, I'm just getting a different vibe um, from the brightness slider here compared to the music slider. The music slider seems like it's a little bit more harsh of a vibrate and the um, volume and brightness slider here just feel a little bit more subtle so maybe that's a change I never noticed that before but it is very very subtle now as far as any new features go there are none um, no new features in beta 3 everything is pretty much just the same um, when you go into the files app Mac OS server still does not work but one thing that was changed and this was a big bug that people were really um, having a struggle with, and that is the Wi-Fi bug. Um, I've mentioned this several times in previous betas, um, where basically Wi-Fi would show that it's connected, but it would still be using um, 3G, LTE, whatever you may have for data. Um, it was still using that instead of the Wi-Fi. So you'd actually have to remove the Wi-Fi and then um, sign back in. So it seems that that is fixed. It usually happened when you restarted your phone. And so far, I've restarted about three times, and that is not there. Uh, now, moving on to just the overall feel of the, the OS, as I said, it's a lot faster. Um, just going throughout the app switcher here, you can see that everything loads fairly quickly and there is no lag or stutter when going throughout the OS. Now one thing is battery life. Battery life seems to have been a huge issue. And so far for using the phone for about 35 minutes here, it's at 84%. I can tell you um, that the phone was at 90% when I started using it. So I'd say that's a huge improvement from the previous beta because using the phone for about 35 minutes, that percentage would be a lot lower and um, would not yield such good battery results. Another thing is, as you can see here, the widget page does refresh. Um, this is accurate. A lot of people were having problems with this widget page not refreshing and showing inaccurate data because it was basically old. So I think that problem is fixed for now. Hopefully that does not come back. It looks great and it feels great. Um, now going on to Geekbench, I did a couple of tests this morning and um, for the CPU, it didn't really change. We got a 4244 for the single core and 10,232 for the multi-core. And you compare that to the last test that we did and not that much of a change. Um, the compute score yielded basically a 180 some um, point change, not really anything significant. I'm really happy though that that score went up and we saw performance improvement as far as stability goes. So I'm really excited for that. So guys, again, there are no new features. We'll have to wait for those in iOS 11.3. So hopefully we'll be seeing that in the next couple weeks because I'm really excited for some of the new features that can be brought for the iPhone 10, the iPad, and of course other iPhones as well. For any of you that had problems in beta two, I would highly recommend upgrading 
to this beta version because this is honestly the most stable build I've seen in iOS 11.2.5. So I'd highly recommend that and hopefully it fixes all the battery issues that you've been having. So hopefully you guys that have been commenting down below asking me if you should update, yes, my answer is yes, you should definitely update to this beta version. So guys, that's about it. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for some upcoming updates on iOS and some more content coming to you really soon. Have an awesome day. Peace.